Okay, so I wanted to make this video, um, if anything, for myself, really. And obviously, if you guys want to watch it, all girls, um, then even better. I think I'm making this as like a something to look back on in the future. But obviously, this video is, I guess, the title is going to be something like building, building an econ brand from scratch. To be honest, it has been... This isn't from scratch, but I'm going to summarize everything so far um, and be completely honest and truthful about the highs and the lows, etc. Um, but uh, yeah, so I had this idea for the brand that I'm working on right now. Uh, I messaged my private supplier first um, on the 10th of January, 2024. So that's two months ago now um i said hey bro i want a custom product made can you help um and he was like yeah for sure let me know what products you want to customize um so the brand that i wanted to make was high startup cost it was going to take a lot of time a lot of energy a lot of effort before anything is into fruition like even now two months down the line we still haven't even really launched the brand we soft tested it on Facebook ads, CPC, CPMs look good. Very, very, very good. Um, but it was a soft launch and we just wanted to, to validate it and see um, what type of metrics were looking like. But 10th of January and still haven't launched. Um, the reason being is a lot of technical size. I can't really say specifically why, but um, there's a lot of technical sides of this product. It's not just like making a product and then launching it. It's like you have to, there's something else on the back end that has to be made. So like, for example, if you've got Whoop, you know, Whoop, the band, the fitness band, you buy the Whoop or they give it you for free. But then to actually use the Whoop, you have to pay for something um, to use the Whoop. That's sort of what I'm getting at. And that's what we're working on. And to have that made alone, was like 3k free no like 4k pounds um and it's also still not made two months uh, probably like a month down the line um and then yeah so i reached out to this first supplier and i'm running this brand with my close friend we first came up with the idea when we were brainstorming it with each other our plans with this brand is like we're basically all in like when we were speaking we were like, bro, we could exit this for 10 M's minimum. Like we would that had that much conviction in the product and had that much conviction in the brand that we were that confident that we could do insane numbers with the product, um, that we were ready to go all in with regards to, instead of trying to drop ship it at the start, like we were ready to go all in on custom packaging, custom, inf custom UGC, custom creatives, um, for, for ads, um, custom, you know, site, custom product page, uh, custom, like, obviously a custom product page, but I mean custom um, product images, all of that stuff. We were like, yeah, let's go for it. And obviously it's cost a lot to start and it will um, cost, I mean, around probably close to 10K just to launch it. And I'll get into more about some of the setbacks and stuff, but the reason why, um, I actually look at that as a good thing is because of a YouTube video I watched recently of Sam Evans. I watched it at the start of the year, changed my outlook on a lot of things. Um, the video is Sam Evans, it's called, what's it called now? Long-term thinking and asymmetric warfare, I believe it is, um, from five years ago. And in that video, he said, to get ahead of your, to get ahead of your competition and wipe them out, do things that are hard, really hard to do, expensive, and take a lot of time, instead of what 90% of people do, is look for the cheapest options, look for the fastest solutions, and look for things that are super, like, super easy to implement, right? Like for example, dropshipping, like ripping stores, ripping creatives, ripping everything to a T, um, takes, take a couple minutes, take half an hour, an hour to rip everything. But I looked at that and when I watched that video and I was like, wow, like it's so true because 90% of people, if they, fi if they think it's expensive, hard to do, or it's going to take a long time, 
they're not going to even try bother to attempt to compete with you. Um, I know I've spoke to so many people that wanted to run um, some products that were custom, you, like there was an MOQ behind it, etc. And they all were like, like, oh, there was an MOQ required, so I didn't go ahead with it. So I think like as dropshippers, and obviously I've dropshipped for the past three years that it's so true that I look at things and just go like, oh, how can I do like the easiest thing? Or like, how can I, how can I just rip this and test it? And how can I, how can I rip these creatives and rip this, this, this and that? And obviously to go to the next level, you have to implement things like custom packaging, custom UGC, um, custom product images by a professional photographer and all these things instead of just ripping and ripping and ripping and copying and copying. So when I watched that video, it was a bit of a, a moment where I was like, wow, like that's such a good mindset to look at because I was always looking at, can I do the easiest thing? Can I rip this? Can I test this fast? Everything has to be fast. But I think once you get to a certain level of you understand, have a certain level of understanding with dropshipping, you can then start implementing things like, like for example, we when we started this, we were completely adamant that we wanted to do custom everything off the rip. Um, so I'll, I'll explain. Um, the supplier got back to us, said that an MOQ was going to be a thousand for the custom packaging, so one dollar for a thousand, which isn't bad. A thousand pounds for custom packaging is, is not deep um, because it's worth it in, at the end of the day to not only increase the lifetime value of your customer to want to come back, but also the perceived value of the product uh, allow you to charge more and have a higher, higher AOV. But we, we didn't mind that. The pro actual product, before we're able to even validate, it was an MOQ, a minimum of a thousand MOQ. So that was one of the things we were like, uh, that's a bit, because it was like gonna be around between 10 to 15K for that MOQ. Um, so we had that at the back of our mind and we were bouncing between two suppliers. One, my, my close, uh, my boy that I'm working with, um, his supplier that he uses a lot and my supplier that I use a lot. Um, so we're bouncing trying to see like who's gonna be the best option. Um, but before we sort of got into this, well, or during this, we were soft launching. So we built the we built the website and actually built the website to a very good standard, um, but not custom nothing. We just wanted to soft launch and get a good idea of the metrics of when testing. So we launched 150 CBO, 150 pound budget. The CPMs and CPCs were very, very, very good. Um, like really good. Um, so that was a very good sign. And we had quite a decent amount of add to carts, um, initiated checkouts, etc. But like I said, the soft launch we did, all of our creatives were ripped and all of our website was ripped. Even the, even the product images was literally the exact, and it's a custom product that we ripped, the exact custom design of the competitor. So there was no uniqueness really about anything we were doing. So yeah, the soft launch that, but that was the intention of the soft launch to get a good positive feedback of the metrics, just to get a good idea of, right, let's just go all in. After we did that, me and my boy come to the conclusion of the metrics are looking good. The CPC CPMs are looking good. There's, and then on the organic side, because my boy's very, very, very big on Facebook ads, uh, very, very like skilled at Facebook ads. Obviously, I'm um, very, very good at organic and stuff like that. The product literally works for both. It's, it couldn't even get more perfect. It's such a viral product. Um, and a very, very, it's a massive problem solving product. Has viral, there's so many aspects of the product that was just ticking all the boxes. The AOV is super good for scaling. The profit margins are a joke, um, are insane. So it, all the boxes were being ticked. All the boxes were being ticked. Um, and yeah, so we were then, right, we soft launched. 
And now we're transitioning into right. Let's let's try get these actually made. My boy supplier was saying no MOQ. My supplier was saying a thousand MOQ, but my supplier's sample was a lot better. He sent two samples, and, and this is why this supplier is really, really good, and that's something we found, was he was on it constantly. He was even analyzing the, the, the competitors and seeing how we could do better than them. Like he's, he was very on it, seemed very, very invested into this. Um, and I worked with this guy for a very long time. Um, and he's a top guy constantly sending me videos, updates, etc. He sent me the samples and originally it was a, meant to just be like one colorway. He actually sent a couple colorways just to get an idea and I really liked that. Um, and actually one of the colorways he sent, we actually really liked. One of, the, one of the designs had like a blurriness to it. So obviously we had to tell him to like, can you try optimize that for the next time? The first sample I received was actually like a different material. Um, how do I explain this without giving it away too much? It was just a different. Uh, the, the the better the better uh, samples was a lot more of a premium quality, whereas the other ones was a less premium but looked a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. But that sample we didn't really like. We didn't like the quality of it. We didn't think the quality was good enough to sell to our to, to the customers. Um, and then the next thing that happened was the sample from my boy supplier we didn't particularly like. Um, it looked like it was rushed. It looked like the, the, print, the printing and stuff like that was not symmetrical. The cuts of actually format, formatting the products, rough edges and stuff like that, we didn't really like it. Um, so we were starting to lean more towards my supplier. Um, and the supplier's got a very, very good price, very good price. Um, and also my private supplier has access to, to fulfillment um, warehouses in America. Um, let me just scroll up on my Skype chat. He's got access to warehouses in US, Australia, Czech Republic and Canada, Vancouver. Um, so he has a lot of overseas warehouses where they can cooperate with those um, in the UK, in the US, France, Italy, Canada, etc. So the suppliers are very good. He's very, very good. Um, and I actually just like referred him to one of my top um, quote unquote students, if you want to fucking call it that. So cringe, but... Um, one of my yeah, students, if you want to call it that, um, he actually has now moved to this guy because um, I referred to him because it's gonna, it's a lot faster shipping times. Anyways, I'm sidetracking. So I then reached out back to, and the reason why we were like still leaning towards my boy supplier is they didn't have an MOQ. So we were like, it's going to be a lot easier for us to test and launch and play around with things if we can have an MOQ, uh, if there's no MOQ. But my supplier, the MOQ of 1,000, was going to come to 10 to 15K. I spoke to him and said to him, look, this supplier has got an MOQ. Uh, has no MOQ, sorry. Is there any way? So we had some wiggle room and he, he actually, bro, he's such a G. He was an like he actually uh, was able to bring that MOQ down um, to a lot lower, and because I worked for him or for him, I worked with him for a while. Instead of doing an MOQ, he was just like, just put a down payment. I'll have them all made, and then I'll keep them in my warehouse and fulfill them like the dropshipping model when you get orders. And he was literally telling me like a lot of other people will come to us, and it will be one to 2000 MLQ. So I think we got not lucky, but cause I've worked with this guy for a while. I think we got lucky in that sense with regards to starting. Um, but yeah, the custom product, we designed it. Um, and I, I designed it on Photoshop, then sent it across to the supplier. He sent the samples and stuff. We were happy. 
Um, and then our other supplier sent the other day like packaging. The packaging was like, I can't lie. I really wasn't in, like happy with me and uh, my boy was also like not very happy with the packaging that we that we saw like the quality didn't look too good the, the materials weren't the best the logo that they printed was like way too big on the front of the packaging um so that was like a little bit of a setback i guess because it wasn't perfect first time but that's that's what's going to happen a lot of the time when you're trying to communicate with um, suppliers from China is that they're not typically they won't typically understand exactly what you mean at first so you need to break it down like with like a PDF file or like with for example when we sent to our supplier we sent um, we had a, uh, from Upwork a um, a designer a packaging designer to design the custom packaging uh, like a proper format like how do I explain it without showing it like every single side of the packaging right um, so had that made that and send it to our supplier um, so we sent that now to our to my supplier my boy's supplier I think we're going to part like we're probably focus on my supplier now um, and the product and obviously a, a big thing as well that Chinese supply uh, Chinese New Year did mess up a lot of our momentum and we probably would have launched a couple weeks ago if Chinese uh, New Year didn't happen just because obviously one everyone takes off for two three weeks and then also it takes a while for them to get back into the momentum and groove of of, of um, working again so that was a little bit annoying but it is what it is. These things happen. That was a little bit of a setback. And it was frustrating because I just wanted, me and my business partner just wanted to launch ASAP. We just sat on our, like, sat on our hands, like, couldn't do anything. It was frustrating, man, because I just wanted to launch. And we're still now in the process and still haven't launched. But all in due time, I'm not bothered. I think this product has the like I'm thinking really long term here um, and I'm really trying to focus on like thinking about this for the next five years not like something for the next two three four five six months something for the next five years and I genuinely think this product has that power and potential and the conviction is there like I have full conviction in this um, brand that, that uh, we're making it goes hand in hand as well with my boy that we didn't just become, we didn't just partner on this because we are friends. We partnered this on because he's a very good media buyer, like the media buyer side of things. I'm very good at the organic side of things and going viral and pushing out content across all the different platforms. And then um, we thought it, would, it, it goes perfectly hand in hand and the product works for both. So yeah, at the moment in time, we sent our samples, uh, we sent our packaging to the supplier, we're waiting on samples for that. Um, the product is complete, like we, the, the best sample that we had, that we decided on, we've told, we've informed the supplier about it. Um, we're still waiting on the back end thing that's to be built and it's, it is a very hard thing to build not to obviously go too much into it, but it's a, it's a very hard thing to build. It's not something that just overnight, it takes a lot of effort um, and a bit of a team to build it as well. So that's one thing as well. Um, that's obviously been a little bit of a, um, something that we've had to have patience with. But yeah, all in all, I mean, we, I would say realistically, we're like 30 days in to this brand, but I thought this would be a really cool thing to make. I don't really care too much if people watch it. I just think this is going to be really good for me to watch back on in six months time. Um, and also, I guess it's good for you guys to see the, the reality of like making a brand, like transitioning into trying to make a brand as opposed to, you know, just, you know, straight drop shipping. Um, but to sum it up, we've gone all in on this brand. We're aiming to do custom packaging 
custom influencers, custom influencers, custom packaging, custom creatives, custom UGC. Uh, that's pretty much the same thing, but I mean more so like custom um, like reviews, like video reviews on our site. Um, we also I've format I've built and formatted a organic team um, from the palace. It was like forty people, forty creators in that um, we're gonna get the product out to and get them just making loads of videos for the product, which is gonna be good. Um, I built that, the Discord, I built that, built that already, which is, is gonna be fire. Um, and then, yeah, just gonna have a massive content team. And that's also gonna allow us to flow the creatives and content that's made into the ads, uh, into the ad creatives. So we also have like a lot of content to work with and a lot of creatives to use. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, I'm excited, honestly, for this, um, I'm very excited to just put my all into this. I really like brands. I really like making brands as opposed to, um, like pump and dump dropshipping stores because I like just being able to put my all into one thing. Um, obviously you guys might, might know, might not know when I first started e-com, I made a clothing brand. And that was what I did for six months. And every single day was focusing on the same thing, the same product, the same brand, etc. So with this, it, it has that element to it again. And I'm excited because obviously I've been so used to, um, and it still am <laughs> pumping um, out, obviously drop shipping stores. And, and I'm, you guys are probably watching this like, oh, What's wrong with that? But nothing wrong with that. I love, but I, I love that's where it's got to me to the position to now be able to, to do a brand without that. I wouldn't have been able to do it in a position to be able to pay for MOQs and pay for packaging and pay for this, this, this and that. So, um, for those, for you that, that are watching this as beginners, it's very hard to just go straight to a brand. Very, very hard. Especially if you don't have that eye, like I always call it the eye of products. Like, it's a skill that's trained the same way that you get better at playing golf by playing loads of golf. You get better at driving by driving loads. You get better at like your eye for products and finding products and finding something that would be worthy of making into a brand by just running loads of products. Um, so yeah, this is obviously the, uh, a level up from what a lot of people, a lot of my content's based around. Obviously my content is based around going from zero to hero, like not hero, but that was so cringe. Why did I say that? Going from zero to making your first 10K, 50K, whatever, um, with organic. Um, but this is sort of like that level up, I guess. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. I hope you guys like this raw, honest um, video. If you guys like this type of video, I, I'm happy to make more as well. I think it could be useful um for you watching you know you might provide you some insights or might show you like it's not just all sunshines and rainbows and like oh yeah let's just everything's amazing um but obviously we're in the i'm in the we're in the fun stages as well like we we're making we're coming up with new ideas creating loads of different cool things the branding of things i love this side of things like i love the side of branding of like oh name idea logo What's the packaging gonna look like? How's it gonna feel when the customer opens it? What's the color, the color coordinate? Like what's the color theme of, like what's the, the colors of the brand? I love this aspect. Um, and coming up with loads of different creative outside the box ideas of how we can do things differently and better than the supplier, than the customer, that's, uh, than the competitor. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, I don't know how long this video was, but if you like this video, Drop a comment and say like, oh, I enjoyed this video, make more of these and I'll make more of these. If you didn't, no, I'm probably gonna still make them, but I'll just private them so I can just watch them back myself in the future. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. Peace. If you watch, if you watch to the end, Mention him. If you watch this all the way to the end, mention this little man. So I know you watched. <laughs>